All right, I'm really excited to be reviewing this brand new groundbreaking toolkit for After Effects called AR Tools, which is simply a element toolkit that allows you to import templates and visual effects into 3D space. And with these 700 elements, you can import titles and tons of other editing assets that you would normally use for After Effects. And also you can use AR tools to highlight very specific portions of your video using visual effects. So, hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Hope everyone is doing awesome today. So I wanna be showing you how this toolkit works for After Effects. So you find yourself in a situation where you're working with footage and you wanna be able to import uh, assets into 3D space or you wanna do a little bit of cool visual effects in 3D space. I'm gonna show you how this works and show you how easy it is. So if you find yourself working on a project in the future that requires 3D work, I will link AR tools below and you can take a look at it and see how it can help assist you in your project so you can save tremendous amount of time and also produce really great works. So let's go ahead and jump into our screen recording and let's see how AR tools works. So there's two sides to AR tools, AR elements and AR strokes. AR elements comes with all the templates that you can use to import into your footage. So like call out titles, pop-up graphics, title effects, and plenty more to work from. And AR strokes is simply the visual effects that you can use to highlight specific objects in your scene. So let's we'll take a look at AR elements first and how this works. So we have this footage of the drone flying through the forest here and I wanna be able to apply some elements to this, so some titles and maybe some graphics. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure our footage is selected and we'll come over here to the AR tools extension with all the elements in here and there's this little tracking icon that we can click on and this will analyze your footage in 3D space. So once that's done, we have our basic 3D camera tracker in here and I wanna go ahead and just click a point where I wanna put a title, so I'll right click it and I can click on create null and camera. So then all we have to do here is click on the null object and then we can go ahead and import an asset that we wanna bring in. So perhaps I wanna bring in a call out title. So I'll find a template just by previewing through it, find a one that works for me. And when you find a call out title that you wanna use, you click on it and click on apply. And then we'll just need to scale this up to whatever size we need. And now we have a call out title that's completely tracked with our footage really easily. And then we go into that composition and then easily go and change out our titles and change out any specific colors that we want. And now our title's fully updated in 3D space. And I think that's awesome. And it's just one graphic that we can use out of hundreds. And in this extension, there's plenty of abstract objects that you can bring in that will track right into here. And of course, there's a lot of other practical ones in here like social media icons. So you can do a quick following. Um, and there's a lot that you can choose from. And of course you have all your basic title animations as well. It doesn't have to just be call out titles. So then what we'll do is we'll select a point where we want to put our next set of graphics and we'll right click it and click on create null. And then we'll select our null object. We'll browse through to figure out what graphics we want to use next. So maybe we'll just use this one and we'll click apply. So now we have another animation in here that's tracked with our footage. And as you can see, it's coming you know, down below the frame. So it's tracked in there perfectly up in 3D space. And I think that is really cool. Now we're gonna take a look at AR strokes, which allows us to composite visual effects into our footage. So for example, I wanna be able to select say the tires of the bike and apply some energy to it, which is what AR strokes allows us to do. So let's take a look at how this works. So we'll grab our bike footage and we're gonna have to grab the Roto brush tool here at the top. We'll double click our footage and we'll come here to the beginning, draw a rotor brush around the edge of our tire like this. I think that's fine. And then we'll do the other tire as well. And we can just all click and delete anything we don't need. And simply we'll drag this out and move forward in our timeline to let this analyze forward here and see how well this holds up. If there's any mistakes like right here, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and start fixing that by a touch and we'll keep analyzing forward, holding down alt and removing anything that should not be selected so now that is done all we have to do now is make sure our footage is selected and we're gonna click on this mask icon and it'll create an auto trace around our composition what we outline and click ok and we want to make sure that auto trace layer is selected and now we can find a really cool effect that we can want to apply to our video so i'll apply this electric effect and click on apply so now we have these really cool energy effects tracked with our footage to really highlight and put more emphasis on the object that we roto brushed out so a really cool and creative way to apply some effects and it's, this does use the saber plugin which is a free plugin um, and you can change any parameters in there as you see fit so pretty easy to use this uh, along with AR elements. So overall, I would say AR tools is a pretty easy pack to use and a lot of cool creative elements to help you 
produce cool work. So that is my review on AR Tools, which was produced by my friend Nitro's Me. He also has tons of other asset templates similar to AR Tools, uh, which I will link AR Tools below. Take a closer look at AR Tools and all the elements that come with it. Uh, I will link it below. If you do pick up AR tools through our link, you will be supporting our channel. So thank you uh, very much. So that's the end of our review and you find yourself working on projects that require 3D work, you now have a tool available to you. So hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are below and always be creative.